guys welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to do a review for you guys um, I've been waiting for months for this to come in the mail and it finally got here so I was waiting anxiously to go ahead and film this for you guys and it is the Scylla sponge now I've heard so many mixed reviews about this so I had to just buy it and try it out for myself um, the best thing about this is that it is made out of 100% silicone so unlike the beauty blender this doesn't absorb any product and also that is very sanitary this will last you up to three years unlike the beauty blender now this does absorb product because it is a sponge and also you're supposed to replace this every three to four months so uh, my deal is obviously this sounds way better than this but I wanted to see how well this applies so on my left side I wanted to use the Scylla sponge and on my right side I want to use a beauty blender I'm going to be using the same exact foundation that I use every time I do my foundation which is the L'Oreal infallible pro matte and I am in color 107 fresh beige and I've already prepped and primed my face so all I have to do is just apply the foundation and I'm going to apply it the same way I do my foundation every day so there's no special treatment no anything is exactly the way I do it and I just put some on my finger and I dab it onto my face just like that so on this side I'm going to do this side first and I'm going to be using the Scylla sponge and now there's two sides to this one is flat and the other one is rounded off so it doesn't say on the paper which side goes up so I'm going to use the rounded side to my face and hold it with the flat side I have a little mirror here so we can get started now it says to smear it around your face and then use dabbing motions so that's what I'm doing now as you can see already it's very streaky it doesn't really get into the crevice of my nose hmm now that I'm starting to dab it into my skin it's starting to look a lot better than the streakiness that it leaves when you apply it by just uh, rubbing it around your face it feels really it feels weird it feels different I'm not used to having this silicone thing on my face so it does take some getting used to um, I don't know if you guys can tell um, it is working pretty well I must say but it's really hard to get into the inner corners inside the corners the crevices of my nose I'm going to need to put a little bit more so I can get some down my neck. I've noticed that it it makes the foundation dry a lot quicker. So I put a little bit more right here so I can take it down my neck. I don't know it just it feels different it feels like it's not really getting into my skin like it's not really getting into my pores unlike the beauty blender and I feel like it's hard to get it into my hairline and like just the little nooks and crannies where you want to make sure it's really blended in okay so that's what this looks like and look at that no product left in the Scylla sponge which is pretty cool now on this side 
I'm going to use my Beauty Blender and I'm going to do the same exact thing that I do, which is just dab some foundation onto my face. Let's see how well that works. Now another reason why I wanted to do the Scylla sponge on my left side is because on my right side I have my nose pierce and my lip pierce so I wasn't sure how well this was going to get in in there because I know with the sponge it just goes over it and it gets inside so I don't have to take them off. Now I've already it's already damp and I've already um, prepped my beauty blender. And it's just, I feel like the sponge, it's so much faster and easier to get in my, my skin. Maybe because I'm just so used to using this. This is like what I use every time I, I apply my makeup. And maybe it's just some time to get used to it. I don't know. I have... Now I see why there's so many mixed reviews online. Because I am feeling mixed emotions. But did you see how quickly I applied my foundation right now with just a beauty blender? And how long it took me with the Scylla sponge? And I felt like it was really hard for me to get in between my eyebrows. Especially since I already have my eye makeup done. And it's so much easier to get underneath my eyes, unlike the Scylla sponge and my neck. I also feel like the color on this side is darker than this side. And this foundation is my exact match when I use it with the Beauty Blender. So I don't know if because of what it's made out of, it changes it. But I thought that was kind of strange. Now you guys can see the difference with the Scylla sponge on this side and the Beauty Blender on this side. I honestly feel like it's the same. There's not big that big of a difference. Um, I do feel though that with the Beauty Blender it goes into my skin and it it smooths it out better than with the Scylla sponge. I feel with the Scylla sponge it just sits over my skin so it doesn't really like penetrate and it just sits over. But I do like the way it applies. Now it says that you can apply um, your setting powder with the Scylla sponge. So I'm going to try that and see how well that works. Um, I just dipped it in. And I'm going to apply it on my face. Just like I would with the Beauty Blender. Now I feel like it, it does give out a lot of product. I don't feel like this blends it in. Maybe if I use the flat side. See, that's not blending in that well. Mm. I'm not liking the way it's setting the powder. I definitely like the way the Beauty Blender does that better. See, look at how much easier it is with the Beauty Blender than with the sponge. I mean, with the Scylla sponge. The Beauty Blender does way better job
than the Stella sponge. Okay, let me just finish this up really quick. Okay, final thoughts. And also, it, it dropped a lot of product on me with the Scylla sponge. So that's a waste. <laughs> but um, honest, in all honesty, um, I kind of like the Scylla sponge just because it saves you on product and stuff like that. But I do still prefer my Beauty Blender. I feel like it gets into your skin more. Unlike the Scylla sponge, I feel with this one, it just sits over your skin and you're supposed to be able to use your finishing powder. You're supposed to be able to um, highlight and contour and do put concealer on with this. I don't feel like it's capable of that because I feel because it is so smooth that it just smears a product around and it doesn't really get into your skin like the Beauty Blender. So I just feel like if you want to try it out, I mean, it there's the price is nowhere near like the Beauty Blender. This is like a, half the price of the Beauty Blender. So if you want to test it out, eh, you can go ahead and try it, but I don't really suggest it. I prefer the Beauty Blender 100%. Um, so yeah, those are my final thoughts. And this is the finished look with the Beauty Blender and with the Scylla sponge. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys have tried it, what you guys think. Do you guys think it's better than the Beauty Blender or did you think it was a waste of money? I would like to hear your thoughts on that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate the support. So please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will be posting another video soon. Um, let me know what you guys would like to see next. Um, maybe I'll do a video on this makeup look. Um, we'll see. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.